Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So today, I thought we would take a look at what goes on behind the scenes with a system update. Since we can obviously use the FTP, we can examine the folder called update and what Sony is actually writing to it. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over to my settings here. We're gonna to go to network, and then I'm gonna go down to settings, and then we'll go to set up an internet connection. So now we'll go into the advanced settings here, and I'm going to go down to DNS and I'm going to set that to automatic. Now that will get rid of the way that we're currently blocking updates. So at this point, we should start seeing in just a second that the system will identify that I'm on 3.20 and there is now a 6.50 that's currently out. While we're waiting for that, and let's go ahead and run the WebKit exploit here. Okay, and there is the payload for FTP access. And so from here, I'm gonna simply use FileZilla and we're gonna to connect to our PS5. And we're gonna go over here to where it says update. And as you can see, there is nothing that is in this folder right now. So back over on the PlayStation 5, I'm going to go into my settings here and we're just going to help kind of trigger it to update. So we're going to go to system software update and settings and we're going to go to update using the internet. We're going to go to view details here and we can see right here this is on 6.50 which includes the DualSense Edge wireless controller support as well as some additional system performance. So we're going to go to where it says update here. And now we got a little pop-up notification that's happening. We're going to go ahead and we're going to refresh the update folder. And one thing that I can see right now is, is that it has ps5 update.pup.temp and there is also an end user license agreement dot xml now i'm going to go ahead and do a refresh here and we can see the file size pretty much matches up what i currently have on my screen that is downloading so at this point i am going to let this go ahead and finish while it is downloading, we can grab the end user license agreement. And really what we can see in here is, is that it does have the locales. So for language, and we just do a search down through this, every language is enabled or in this XML file. So again, we could go look up in US for English. And right there is the English and what is very interesting here is is that obviously it's got ps5 update.pup but it also has this update mode dot elf if we had of went in allow it to update automatically then we definitely would not have seen this update mode dot elf what could be a bit interesting here is, is that if you were to take a earlier version of the PlayStation 5 software and then add it in here with this same name, I wonder what exactly would happen. So we'll head over to Darth Sterney's firmware archive. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to click on this download button here. And what I was planning on doing was obviously coming back into FileZilla and then replacing the PS5 update.pup and see what happens. Okay, so now that has been copied over. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to network here. We're going to go down to settings, 
set up an internet connection, and now I'm going to put the DNS settings back in place. So we'll go to advanced settings again, and then for DNS settings, we'll switch those back to manual, and it will keep my defaults in there automatically. Okay, so now that that is in there, I believe we have everything that we need at the moment to maybe try and update it. Now, it does say right here, system software update ready to install. So let's press X and let's go to update system software. Now I'm looking in the folder and it definitely has the older firmware version. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. So let's try it. Okay, it says the PS5 system software will be updated. Your PS5 will restart and start the update. So let's see what happens. Ah, something went wrong. That is the very first thing that it does. Update says something went wrong. So I'm going to put the update mode.l file where you can take a look at it, especially those that knows a lot more about it than I do. Well, anyway, I hope that you got something out of this and I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.